Carbordia liner has sunk. In a horrifying admission today, the president of the Carbordia line has admitted that every ship they have ever built has sunk. When asked to comment on the line's safety record, he said, A boat will float if it weighs less than the amount of water it displaces. Otherwise, it sinks. In a moment, a special report. Hi everyone, I have an update on the upgrades we've been making thanks to your support either on Patreon or just by watching commercials and supporting the advertiser's product. We now have a new camera set up capable of 4K and a new to us Manfrotto tripod with a great fluid head. We're searching for an editing program that uh, fully supports 4K and still fits within our budget. All this thanks to your continuing support. Several years ago, the Cardboardia line was formed to promote the use of cardboard as a building material for passenger liners. Cardboard is lightweight strong and durable. The boats were fashioned out of recycled refrigerator packaging. The designers working with such a new material did not realize the tensile strength of cellulose fiber drops considerably when it comes in contact with water. The Carbodia Majesty was the line's pride and joy when built. Every effort was made to make the ship the best of its class. Every luxury was considered and then ignored. The interior was opulent beyond your Oscar wildest dreams in only what can be described as piss elegant with the emphasis on the former. Interesting fact here, all Carbodia ships have sunk on their maiden voyage, and the ship tasked with exploring the wrecks was also sunk. The wrecks lie in about two or three feet of water, let's say three because it's about a meter. Security video shows the cause of the ship's fire that precipitated the sinking started in the kitchen next to the fireworks storage area. Later, the Cardboard of Inquiry faulted the company for improper storage of sparklers and not having enough lifeboats, which, in fact, were an afterthought and were only drawn on the ship's side. Amazingly, underwater imaging shows the ships remain intact at the bottom, making recovery easier. Even more amazing is that not a single passenger has been lost. A special thanks to my new YouTube buddy, Cowgirl Chloe, who posted these crazy videos. I hope you loved it, or I'll take it down. Cards and links to your channel, sweetie. You'll love it. And that's the way it was on April 1st. I'm Ellen Stokel. April Fools! <laughs>